is why you're looking at the travesty, right? While you're watching this crap unfold, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. Know who is saying what. Know what they're, what's driving them and what their politics really is. Tulsi Gabbard came out very strong today on it. She's been unwavering in her, in her position that we need to get the hell out, that we need to offer aid, that we need to help refugees, but we do not need to show military force. Bernie Sanders condemned it too, but he stopped a little short. He didn't condemn the airstrikes. Not totally. Not totally. But, yeah, he should have. There is no excuse for this. None. And I understand, yeah, it's a lot of Americans. They're freaking out, man. I get it. You're pissed off. You're hurt. You're like, we, these children have been hurt, but see, we don't know who caused it. And even if, even if Assad, even if he did it, based on the rule book, that doesn't get that doesn't authorize us to use force if he broke the convention, if he used the chemical weapons. There is no list in these bylaws, there's no list that the response could be kinetic. Meaning, it doesn't mean that you can respond with military force. We got away with it in Iraq because we said we were doing it, or we got away with it earlier in Syria because we said we were doing it because we were protecting Iraq. And we were fighting for Iraqis, which we were already engaged in. This is totally different. It's going to be a very interesting next few days. <clears throat> probably while I'm on the air tonight, there'll probably be another airstrike because that's how we get down. So right now, they're trying to figure out if the strike was even legal. I don't think it was legal. Check out the New York Times. They're talking about it. So while you sit around and we, we bicker amongst ourselves about who, uh, why Trump did it, why did he cave to the deep state, the fact of the matter is he caved to the deep state. And I'm and actually, I don't know if he caved or if he just went along. And I don't know if Steve Bannon left because he didn't like it. Maybe there was these discussions leading up to this. Maybe. I don't know. But I know who's smiling real nice right now. We talking big Kool-Aid grin. Both cheeks touching his eyeballs. Raytheon, the maker of the tomahawk. Oh, they're smiling. Do you know how much one tomahawk missile costs? Over a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. The only people that stand to win from this are our weapons dealers, are our weapons makers. That's who stands to win from this. And I still got to ask everyone because I'm still trying to figure it out. If Assad is fighting ISIS, right? That's who he's fighting, right? In Syria? If the government, the Syrian government's fighting ISIS, and we're fighting the Syrian government, aren't we helping ISIS? I mean, is that... I don't know. Is that that's the way I see it? I mean, is there another way I'm supposed to see this? Isn't that how we got in this situation before? Isn't that what got us here? And of course, right on time, right on time, never late. She came out of the woods just in time to jump on TV an hour before we launched missiles and said, "Let's launch missiles." I don't want to hear any more talk about how, oh, we need to get a woman in here because a woman's going to have a different mentality. No, a woman, this woman being Hillary Clinton, does not have a different mentality than John McCain. They're the same thing. Only thing separates them are body parts. They're the same because the mentality is warmonger, war machine. That's all they are. McCain talking about no-fly zones and safe zones and all this crap that means our military is going to have to be there to protect it. These neocons got to go. But it was right on time. That's what they do. Nearly five dozen Tomahawk cruise missiles were launched at military bases in Syria from U.S. warships in the Mediterranean Sea. 
And people are smiling, going, all right, man, Trump done turned on the money machine again. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we've been missing. Obama bombed continuously for eight years. And now we're continuing it. It's as powerless as we feel as people with reason and sense. And don't get it wrong. There are some Trump supporters who are like, hey, this doesn't make America great again. What you don't get is this makes Americans, certain Americans, wealthy again. Because that's all it's ever been about is money. If we cared about people dying, we'd be in sub-Sahara Africa somewhere helping kids starving, kids running from genocide. That's what we'd be doing. We'd be fighting famine if we really cared about death of innocent people. But we don't.